Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about Java project anatomy and at the end, we will be having a complete demo. So guys, if you are an absolute beginner in Java, then make sure to watch this video because this video is really very, very important for you to understand the project flow for any Java related application. So this video will tell you how you can start looking into a java project or if you are building your own java application then how your project structure should look like and in this video i'm going to give you few very important concepts which will really help you if you are an absolute beginner in java and want to expose yourself as a java developer so without wasting any time let's jump on so here is the content i'll be talking about classes in java methods and variables anatomy java project structure and demo and few very important tips for you as a beginner so let's begin so guys before we start i will request you to please like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting java related videos now talking about classes so classes is very important concept in java if you are a java developer then you must know what a class is so theoretically class is called a blueprint or a set of instruction to build an object in java now what is object object is a real time representation of a class you can think of in this way before building a house what we do we create a design we create a kind of skeleton for a house including your windows doors the interior design on how your house will look like right and then we start building it so you can think of this house design as a blueprint or a class and the real house as an object of that particular class now this slide is to give you much more understanding on java class okay so in this case if i say calculator what comes into your mind so calculator is a kind of entity which help us to do arithmetic operations like sum subtract multiplication and divisions right and in order to do all these operations we need some kind of data right so those data in terms of java is called variables which will help us to do some operations now what is those operations is these arithmetic cal calculations now these calculations is nothing but called a methods or a behavior of this calculator class so a java class is nothing but the combination of your variable and method which will help us to do end to end certain operations and which will give us the blueprint of a class behavior now moving further this slide is basically to show you what is the syntax for the java class so in java class is a reserved keyword so you have to give class and then the class name now what you can give as a class name it can be any meaningful name of your class based on the behavior like if you are building a calculator then you can give calculator okay if you are building a vehicle then you can give a vehicle as a class name itself and then inside of that class you will have variables and methods now there are few thumb rules for a java class a java project consists of one or more classes a real java project will have at least one classes and it can have n number of classes as well now class is the blueprint and a set of instructions from which objects are created this is really very important and i'm going to talk more about it in my subsequent videos now classes in java determines how an object will behave and what the object will contain now this statement is pretty much clear so how the object will behave is based on the methods that is defined in the classes and then what the object will contain is nothing but the variables so if the classes is having a variable and method then the object will be driven based out of those information now this slide is to show you the java project structure so a java project is nothing but a list of packages so you will have one java project under which you will be creating a packages where you will have n number of classes now packages are nothing but the folders so in a project we can have multiple folders and we can logically divide those packages based on the class operations okay and the classes will definitely will have methods and variables each class will have their own methods and variables now moving further to the demo here we will be creating a brand new java project so the very first thing is if you have eclipse open and if you are trying to open it for the first time that it will ask you for the workspace so you can provide any folder structure there and you can just start your eclipse from there so the very first thing that we'll do is i'm going to close this outline and this task list because i am not going to use this and in order to create a project go to file new 
and go to others and write java so you will find an option as java project so i'm going to click on next this will need a bunch of information for us to provide so the first is project name i'm going to give first java project and then we have default location as this workspace this is the same workspace which i have used while starting the eclipse so i'm going to keep that as it is and then it will look for jre or jdk i'm going to keep that the default whatever is provided so far and then i'll keep the default option as it is and click on next then it will prompt you with this settings so i'm going to keep that as it is and click on finish then it will ask you do you want to open the perspective of java so what happens is in eclipse if you are creating a java project then there is a specific look and feel for a java project when i'm saying look and feel as in there are various options for us as a developer to provide how and when is needed while we are developing like if you want to see the output of a java program you need a console right so all those important tabs and windows will be provided in your eclipse if you select this so i'll suggest to open perspective now if you notice on the left hand side the, under this package explorer we have got our first project created let me expand this. so i have got this src folder and then jre which we have selected now right click to src click on new and click on package you can provide some name here like i'm going to give com.example and click on finish okay so now under the project we have created a package now under this package i'm going to create a new java class so here is the prompt for creating a java class so provide the class name i'm going to provide as first java class now this java class is under the package of com.example and then you will see this modifier option so modif uh, for now i'm going to keep this as public only in my next video i'm going to talk about this modifier as well which is again a separate topic and one very important point here is which method stuffs would you like to create so when we create a java class there are few default methods that java help us to create by default while creating the class itself for now i'm not going to select this but this public static void main is very important and i'll be talking about this in a bit and i'm going to click here so now we have this java class also created we have got this public as a modifier class as a reserve keyword and then the class name and inside this we will be having variables and methods now at the end as i promised i'll be showing you few important and very useful shortcut as a tips so this window and preference option so with this eclipse if you want to change something related to your look and feel then you can go to windows select preference and then here if you find for color okay so there will be one tab appear as a appearance okay now this will actually give you various options for look and feel the fonts color and all okay if you want to increase the font size of your java program you can do that as well like if you want to change the theme okay so if you want the dark theme then you can do that so and then this will change the theme of your entire eclipse for now i don't want it so i'll be restore default and i'll keep that as it is now the next step is if you go to window and click on perspective then this will show you the bunch of perspective if you want to open a debug perspective a java browsing or java script or if you go to others then you will get all those options okay right now since we are in java project then we should use this but there are a bunch of other perspective that you can use if you are building enterprise java related application you can select java ee the one more tip is on the left hand side sometimes you won't find this package explorer okay so how you can pull this or add this into your eclipse in that case you have to go to windows again and click on show view and click on package explorer or whatever information that you want to see so if i click on this package explorer it will be added there right now since i already have it there is no change but if i try to add something else like if i go to windows show view and click on console see so the console tab is being added in the below so this console we will be using when we will be writing a new java classes and will run a java program so that's all for today please like and subscribe for upcoming java booster thank you